Atlas can be seen this HBO. Others who were very good friends, as the towers collapsed, they held each other's hand. Miraculously, one would survive. Take a look. Janelle and Rosa were co-workers that quickly became friends. Both single moms, they understood each other, sent each other emails, and like all proud mothers, talked about their children. And we both have a daughter, same age, and her, her daughter name was Jennifer, but she calls her Jen. My daughter name is Kimberly, I call her Kimmy. She was a remarkable mom. Her first love is Jen. She loved that little girl. Janelle and Rosa were together on the 64th floor of Tower One when they felt the building shake violently. When they learned what had happened, Rosa made an urgent phone call. I heard her telling someone, it's like, okay, tell Jen I love her and um, take care of her. And, uh, you know, um, that's, that's what she said. Rosa had called her sister Maggie in New Jersey. Maggie remembers the heartbreaking phone call. She told me, Maggie, there was an explosion in the building and we're getting ready to evacuate. And then she started crying and she said, well, if anything happens to me, to please take care of Jenny. Just tell Jennifer that I love her and I'm just telling everybody that I, that I love them. I started to cry and she started to hug me. I, I, I just started to cry because I think about Kimberly. I think about my family and I said, oh my God, we're not gonna get out of this building. I am sure we're not gonna get out of this building. Grabbing each other's hands, they began making their way down the stairway from the 64th floor. When they got to the 13th floor, Janelle and Rosa began to feel hopeful. I stopped to take off my shoes and that's the sun. I only got one side off and, and that's when the building exploded. And we felt it just hit us, both of us back together because we were still holding hands. Everything just kept falling and went completely dark. But we fell together and I fell with my hands it's like I was trying to cover her after everything had stopped. I was thinking, I'm going to die, and where is Rosa? And I tried to call out her name. No one answered. Oh my God, where is Rosa? I realized that my head was stuck between the concrete pillar. And I realized I couldn't move. I thought I was going to die because my head, my whole body was completely stuck. Janelle was trapped in the rubble, unable to move. She would stay that way for the next 27 hours. And it was cold. I started to shiver. It was so hard, but I feel like if I was just buried alive and, you know, I couldn't do anything, I was feeling really helpless. Just give me this chance just to see my daughter. What is she going to do without me? How is going to be? How would she take this news? In tremendous pain, Janelle kept praying. She was about to give up when she finally heard a voice. And then I called again and someone said hello back to me. And I said hello back to them and I put my hand up. And then someone grabbed my hand. I just kind of relaxed my body and I, I feel a sense of calmness. And I said, oh my God, thank you, God, thank you. Janelle was the last of only five people to be found alive in the rubble. Rosa wasn't so lucky. In Brooklyn, her daughter is still grieving for her mother. Jennifer moved in with her Aunt Maggie, and today all six of Rosa's sisters are helping, just the way her mom wanted it. After weeks in the hospital and several surgeries, Janelle returned home. She had survived, but she was changed forever. I asked myself, you know, why me? We was together all, all along. Why me and not Rosa? I think about her every day. This is Janelle Guzman and her daughter, Kimberly. Rosa's 13-year-old uh, daughter, Jennifer, and Rosa's Maggie and Nell are um, also here today. I just want you to know how much your mom really loved you. And I know you have six great aunts to look out for you. And I want you to know that you have my love and support as well. And now that I met you today, I can see why your mom was so proud of you. She talks about you all the time. Thank you, Maggie, Nell, and Jennifer, Janelle, and Kimberly. We thank you. Uh, coming up, there are three mothers who died while helping others. A